Hello and good day. This is the Bible Bard. A bard is a storyteller who recites traditional texts associated with a particular oral tradition, and I'm here to recite and to amplify what the literature of the Bible says about who is God and who are human beings. This podcast is a fully owned subsidiary of the Bible Bard Literary Association, which is solely responsible for its content. Check the About Description tab in YouTube for links to additional Bible Bard content. Here's the place we are at today. There are plenty of Bibles around, but no one reads them. It's a post-Christian culture. Because the religious history, the wars, the arguments, the exclusivity, the moral condemnation have given most of the last two or three generations a sour face when religious topics come up. In today's social circles, we often avoid discussing religious topics. While such a general reaction against religion might be understandable, it comes at a terrible price for the literature of a book, parts of which may be over 5,000 years old is now lost to generations who rarely read anything, much less choosing religious reading materials. That's why the Bible Bard is turning on the microphone to provide a weekly podcast to present what the literature of the Bible clearly states about God and human beings. The Bible Bard, like a scientific archaeologist, shovels and sweeps away generations of accumulated religious debris so that we can see the bones of the original text after brushing aside the old rags of sectarian dogmatism. The Bible Bard is not interested in discussing what any Christian denomination or religious teacher asserts that the Bible teaches. We all know that goes nowhere. I'm only interested in presenting what the Bible itself directly and clearly states about a subject. So if you're a Muslim listener, a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Presbyterian, an Anglican, or an atheist, and you hear me read the text, what you hear is so clear and unequivocal that we can all agree the thoughts presented are in fact what the Bible itself actually says. Here's why. I'm not picking Bible texts to share with you that we can argue about. Texts that might mean this or might mean that. The Bible text that I'm reading out in the Bible Bard podcast are so clear that whether you hear or read them in the original Hebrew, Greek, or Aramaic, or if you read translations from the original languages into Chinese, Japanese, French, German, Russian, or English, they all say the same thing. This is the part of the Bible, the text within the Bible, that the Bible Bard is interested in sharing. Finally, the Bible Bard isn't here to push the ideas of any religious sect on you. The Bible Bard is a public service presenting Bible literature to an audience that has, through no individual fault of their own, never heard what this book, the best-selling book ever in the history of publishing, actually says. And I'm not saying that anyone who hears these clear biblical statements will or must agree with them. What I am saying is the following. If you're merely curious about what this wonderful collection of books, stories, and statements actually says in its source documents, then this podcast is for you. Also, if you do not have the time or it's even dangerous for you to possess and read all 31,102 verses in the Bible and sift among them for the key thoughts about God or the human race that you're interested in, then this podcast is for you. The Bible Bard is discreet, simple, and quick to put key scriptural ideas before you. Here's how this works. In the Bible Bard podcast, I'll quote some of the literature of the Bible, usually brief statements that clearly say something about God or humankind. I will provide chapter and verse so that, if you want to, you can look up the source text and confirm it is not a setup. We also provide a PDF of every lesson so that you can see in writing what you hear in audio. Here's how you can use the Bible to find the text. Go to the table of contents of any Bible and you will see a list of books with names like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, or in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, including others. Inside the pages of each of these books or divisions, the content is numbered with sequential chapters and verses. 
A chapter is just a numbered set of verses, uh, usually focused on some subject matter. A verse is just a numbered sentence or two within that material. You'll hear me reference a verse. Let's say Genesis chapter 11, verse 6. That's the book, the chapter in the book, and the verse in the chapter. And you can find that passage in any Bible and read it for yourself. Furthermore, when I cite some specific content, I will usually cite comparable ideas from each of the major divisions of the Bible, the Hebrew and the Greek sections, commonly called the Old and the New Testament. This is the way the Bible Bard works. Brief recitations, closely focused, no distractions, no rabbit trails. Send the Bible Bard any questions or remarks you care to offer to BibleBardUS at gmail.com. Glad to hear from you. Thanks in advance for following and sharing content from the Bible Bard community as follows. On Twitter, see at Bible Bard. On SoundCloud, Facebook, and Instagram, find the Bible Bard. And in iTunes, you can find the feed for the Bible Bard from SoundCloud. Thanks for listening.